so I would like I would like to speak about this phenomenon, which is that uh, African art is very much en vogue now, right? Well, it is an en vogue. I like to say that it's a constant, you know, development since we've started. We have not seen, you know, a bubble or, you know, more of a trend. But I think right now with the visibility and, you know, the auction house support for the secondary market, there's definitely a stronger, you know, engagement of collectors and institutions as well as auction houses on the this particular you know uh, part of the of the the, the geographies in uh, in Africa and the African diaspora but uh, you you are at the avant post <laughs> to observe that it's really now there's a, a huge demand from all over the world right for of course and even more so from the US uh, right now and i think something had to do also for the positioning you know and the inclusion and all the system that happened you know, over the summer with the George Floyd um, uh, situation and the Black Lives Matter movement, etc. So there's even a stronger desire, I think, from collectors, from institutions, from, you know, all the different ecosystem of the art world to be much more inclusive. Okay, so it's kind of back to the roots, in fact, because African American problem have spread to Africa. Well, Definitely, probably, uh, I wouldn't say spread, but there's, there's definitely a support um, and, um, and um, you know, a support of what's happening, you know, in the US uh, from Africa. Uh, I don't think anybody who, um, you know, is, saw what happened in the US was not touched. I mean, and at this point, the whole world was touched, but Africa has always been, you know, um, in that same category in a way, because all those artists, either from an African American descent or from an African descent, has been have been a, a bit, you know, put on the side and not included uh, in the whole ecosystem of the art world, you know, so far. So I think, in the same way, African artists have been put, a, you know, not included, and the African American have not been also uh, for very long years. Um, a part of the, the 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 I guess the American discourse of art, you know. So it's very strange in a way because uh, Africa is a very large continent with mm -hmm. a lot of culture, different culture and style. But in the same time, what is working in the market is a very typical style, which is kind of naive representation with bright colors. And a yeah. lot of decoration, most of the damp patterns. So I think there's definitely the figurative, you know, with the black figures that works really well. And I think this is also what people are kind of expecting probably to see from West Africa, South Africa, etc. But we see more and more, you know, artists focusing on more conceptual work. Um, I mean, and, you know, there's also, you know, the fact that we're talking about 54 countries, the influences are different. If you take, you know, artists from North Africa, they have completely different, you know, uh, different styles. And one day they will be exactly at the same level as other artists being completely included in every international art fairs. Uh, you know, galleries will be invited everywhere. And then, you know, we'll be in a general consensus that that's fine. They don't need to be categorized anymore. But so you will on that time when it will be like that your fair will be a general fair and i always say it will be the most beautiful death of 154 is that we don't need it anymore <laughs>